Hola gente, what's up guys? In today's video, I wanted to share with you these everyday glowy natural look that I've been loving and doing every single day for the past 10 days. Most of this look I achieved using these gorgeous Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is the limited edition that came out for the holidays. It is the Edit Volume 4 palette and I think it's Inside Out Beauty Speaks for itself. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how I'm currently using it. But before we begin, if you're new around here and you're enjoying my content and you wanna hang out, please don't be shy and subscribe. I upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And with the magic of editing, we're going to start right from the beginning. I have already applied foundation clearly and concealer, mascara and liner. And in case you guys are curious, all those products are going to be listed in the description box below. Everything else we're going to be doing using just the Hourglass Edit Volume 4 pack. It really gives you a very luxurious experience to use these palettes. I'm gonna share with you some tips to make it work for people who have wrinkles, pores and all those things like I do. <laughs> so I'm going to start applying dim light. First one right here on my T-zone mostly. Mostly on the areas where I tend to get a bit oily as the day progresses. Oh, and I just did that with these Morphe M530 brush. And I'm also going to use a finger to kind of set my uh, mobile lid. I'm just gonna apply dim light there. Uh, I'm looking a little bit like a ghost right now. So what I'm gonna do is jump right into the bronzer, this one right here. And it's called Filtered Bronze Light. And I'm gonna grab these um, beautiful high quality brush by It Cosmetics 227. This is from the Love Beauty Fully collection. I really enjoy uh, using it to give my face a bit of a contour. It helps hug the cheekbone. So because this is powder, even though it is super finely milled, I have very complicated under eyes. I have tons of pores. I'm gonna zoom you guys in later and show you. I don't wanna add any more powder on this area right here, which is the area kind of around my nose. I also have a pimple. Powders will exacerbate any texture, pores, wrinkles, whatever. So I don't wanna pack too much powder, even though these are amazing and forgiving for more mature skin or aging skin. So I really don't wanna go too much in with the powder because I know it's going to exacerbate. Let's face it, it's there, I'm aging. So I'm gonna keep the contour more on the outer area. Do you guys see the difference? The bronzer is beautiful and is buildable, although I don't think it will do a lot for deeper skin tones. And I'm gonna do, of course, these other side. Just a footnote, if you're used to contouring with something like Benefit Hula, a grayish undertone, it's cooler. That's kind of the holy grail contouring powder product out there. You may find this a little bit warmer, but I feel like you can still give definition to your cheekbones. I feel like warmer tones overall kind of make blue eyes or greenish blue eyes pop. All right, so that's that for the bronzer. Now I'm going to go in with the blush. You have two options here. This one is more mauve this one is more of a peachy pink, and I'm gonna start using this one stroke blush in Euphoric Fusion. I feel like it's going to go so well next to the bronzer. Let's do that. I'm going to be using this Morphe Art 2 brush. I'm gonna apply it, but I'm gonna stay away from these areas where I have huge pores because I don't wanna make things worse. Euphoric Fusion, it was a love at first sight. It is a very nice and well-known makeup trick to use two blushes. And I'm going to use this one right here, Luminous Glow, in the apples of my cheeks. And again, kind of in the apples, but trying to stay away from this area. I know I'm kind of obsessing about pores lately. 
And now I'm going to zoom you guys in. And please don't judge my pores. All right, so now for the eyes, I'm going to go back in with the bronzer and I am going to go into the crease with this brush. This is the 203 Love Beautifully Collection brush also by IT Cosmetics. And yeah, I'm just trying to add a little bit more depth to the eyes. I really like using bronzer on my crease. One, you're using more your bronzer and this very expensive $80 palette. <laughs> and um, number two, it's always a great kind of bulletproof way to tie the look together. Another thing I really like to do is take a small shadow brush. This is the number 220 by IT Cosmetics and grabbing the exact same bronzer. I'm just going to be applying it on the outer V and just by switching up the um, brush for a smaller one, it looks like you're using a darker shade of bronzer, but you're actually just using the exact same bronzer. And that's why I really love face palettes. I can just open one of these in the morning when I'm in a hurry, I need to go out and I can get almost everything done. All I need to do is decide which face palette I'm going to use that day. Now I'm going to go in with the same bronzer one more time and this time with the Morphe E47 brush. Line the lower lash line. I could really see my eyes looking a lot bigger <laughs> instantly. And now I'm going to go in with this um, Love it Beautifully number 216 brush and I'm gonna dip it into Euphoric Fusion and I'm going to just add a little bit kind of over my crease again that really ties the look together and now we're going to go into the more fun part and that is highlighter this one is called euphoric strobe light and just on its own it's really beautiful but wet it's even more beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and wet these pointy morphe brush you know when I do like this you can see where my fine lines kind of begin and I just try to keep that a little bit lower so that, you know, I don't shoot myself on the foot. And this one is also absolutely buildable. Start with a very subtle highlight dry and then just wet the brush a little bit and just apply a layer and you get a more wet natural highlight and then if you keep going you can absolutely build it to a more of a blinding highlight and i definitely like to apply that over here where my skull bends i feel like that's where the light natural hits my face and it really looks nice you know kind of seeing a line there and a line there especially if you're going to wear your hair up Okay, now I'm going to take this tiny Morphe brush. This is the M213 and I'm going to wet it because we're going to go in <laughs> with the highlighter. I'm gonna dip it right there and I'm going to highlight the inner corner a little bit. And a little bit here as well. I'm going to Euphoric Strobe Light and place it in the center of my mobile lid. And now back to the R37, I'm going to highlight the cupid's bow. Now I'm quickly going to line my lips. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade 018 Addiction. And now this Sephora Lip Gloss. And before I drench my face in a Morphe setting spray, which is going to help melt all that powder finish into the skin, I want you guys to take a very close look because, well, powder is powder. When you're over 35, as you guys know, I am 37 years old and so is my skin. <laughs> And like I said, I have tons of pores. The pore situation clearly is um, something I can't stop thinking about, as you guys noticed 
throughout this entire video. With that said, if I wanna go with powder, makeup, hourglass powders, are the way to go, but I will not lie. Cream products are always a lot more forgiving on my fine lines and my pores. Some people find cream products tricky and if you find cream products tricky, you wanna go with powders and you have kind of a situation with your skin. This is kind of an unreal result for a powder product. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this whole thing. As you guys can see, I was not exaggerating when I said that I was going to drench my face on Morphe setting spray and I absolutely advise you guys to do this as a final step, especially if you're over 35 like I am. It's going to really help you get the most out of these powders without the downside of powder products. And once that kind of dried up, I really like to take the beauty blend and, and push the makeup into the skin, especially in the areas where I have texture. Just press with the beauty blender, don't rub because if not, you're gonna hate me. It's all gonna be gone. Judy darling, thank you so much for helping me get this product that was not available in my country. So that's it for today, guys. I truly hope that this video helped you in some way. If it did, please give it a thumbs up so that others can discover it as well. If you're new around here and you wanna keep hanging out, please don't be shy and hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free and I am here Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific. Thank you all so much for watching, for all your comments and your support, and I will talk to you all again on my next one. Ta -da.